Hakim La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakal Kadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this truth. Peace and blessing to the elect. And this is just going to be about hell and reincarnation because when you t when you tell the the average person specifically a so-called christian or whatever about hell the first thing that pops in their mind is you're burning in this mysterious underworld place and whatever else and that's it's not biblical that's not hell hell is a condition all right it's not a a place um, and also reincarnation is real as well. And that's just what this is going to be about. Going to the scriptures showing that hell is a condition and reincarnation is also real. So this is Tobit chapter 3. I mean, it's a lot here. Chapter 13. I'm going to start at 2. For he doeth scourge and have mercy. He leadeth leadeth down to hell and bring it bringeth up again neither is there any that can avoid his hand so you can see right here it says you can go down to hell right a low condition and then he can bring you back up again put you back in a better position or a high position and i just want to start that off with that because the israelites right they went through hell what's hell Hundreds of years of slavery, slavery back to back to back to back to back, man, slavery in Egypt, uh, Babylon, the Greeks, the Romans, America, I may be missing a few, but you get the message, all right? Um, And yeah, that's slave. I mean, that's hell right there, man. Being subject to back-breaking work with nothing, nothing going for you, just giving out free labor, getting ravished, all right, humiliated, and everything else, that's slavery, you're in a, a very low position, all right, Esau Edom, this is Esau Edom's heaven, they got the whole world under their foot with money and their military and everything else, man, this is Esau's Edom, Esau Edom's heaven, they don't even realize it, all right, they think if you believe in white man Jesus with all your heart and he's uh, Yeh his real name is Yahweh Shai, and he's not a so-called white man. He's a so-called black man. All right, but nobody's skin is white, and nobody's skin is black. So-called white people, Esau, Edom, Edomites, they're red. They're pale and red. And so-called black people are different shades of brown. Um, but let me just get into the meat. Let me hit up Psalms. 16. Psalms 116 and I'm gonna start from the top I love Yahweh Psalms 116 and 1 I love Yahweh because he hath heard my voice and my supplications because he hath inclined his ear unto me therefore will I call upon him as long as I live the sorrows of death come past me and the pains of hell got hold upon me i found trouble and sorrow so this is a uh, king david talking about the pains of hell is on him man what is the pains of hell man just the pains of being a low position in a low state all right you go into the scriptures man what is talking about hell or anything like that is just talking about low positions all right being in a low, a lowly state, and this is Jonah. Jonah was swallowed up by a giant fish, man, a giant fish. And guess what Jonah said? Jonah two and and start from the top, verse one. Then Jonah prayed unto Yahweh, his power out of his fish's belly, out of the fish's belly, and said, I cried by reason of mine affliction unto Yahweh. He heard me out of the belly of hell cried I and thou heardest my voice so is the is is a fish of a giant uh creature hell that's hell no dude he's in a low condition okay when you die all right 
I'm a, this is like the later half of the video, but this just lay down the foundation of the point. When you die, your your body decays, right? On the earth, wherever you die at, you decay. And your soul, your spirit goes up to Yahweh. You get judged. Then you come right back as a new baby, right, whatever, right? You reincarnate. But let me just continue. Get this, um, this... This hell doctrine out of here, man. This is not hell where you you're bad. Oh, you don't believe in white man Jesus, right? This is what these these fucking lunatics do. So forgive my tongue. You don't believe in white man Jesus. Now you're gonna fucking burn forever. No hope. You're burning forever. Get you how can you even burn, bro? If you're a spirit, how can a spirit burn, bro? That is that it, it makes absolutely zero sense. How does a spirit burn and have teeth and stuff bro get out of here uh, when it's talking about wailing and gnashing of teeth and stuff from them that's from the nuclear missiles coming down here burning up burning up people boy but um revelations 20 and and revelations 20 and 12 and i saw the dead small and great stand before thy power and the books were opened and another book was opened, which which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of these things, of those things, which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and, the, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works. So, Revelations 20 and 13, it said, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them and they were ju judged every man according to their works so death and hell get so wait if i thought when you're in hell ain't no coming back what what why are these people coming up out of hell to be judged isn't hell like the ultimate the final place why are they coming out is yahweh giving you a double whammy he giving you a two-piece he gonna take you out of this place where you burning forever judge you and then just to send you back makes absolutely zero sense, man. Wait, wait, but wait, but wait, but wait. Revelations 20 and 14. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. So right here and there, it says death and hell was cast into the lake of fire. So wait a minute. So how does hell, which is a lake of fire, also go into the lake of fire makes absolutely zero sense because hell is not a place it's a condition okay a lowly condition uh let me hit up blue uh before i hit up blue where it talks about lazarus and the rich man which is just a parable and play on esau edom and the israelites i'm gonna just keep 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 hitting these points all right revelation 6 Revelation 6 and 8. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death, and hell followed with him. And the power was given to, to them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with the sword and with hunger and with death and with the beast of the earth. And this just goes back to Esau Edom, man. Check this out. You see this? And I looked, and beheld, a, and behold, a pale horse, and his name sat on him was Death, and hell followed with him, all right? Now, check that out. Uh, Habakkuk 2. Habakkuk 2. Habakkuk 2 and 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. So this truth, yeah, man, it's been hundreds of years or However, man, you've been in this truth. Who knows how long you just want to come to an end. We've been all there. But, hey, if you if say something happened, man, you wanted to end here and there. But all the elect ain't sealed, man. So you got to wait. Uh, but, yeah, man, you um, it's going to come whenever, man. This uh, The elect that died, man, the saints, it's a scripture, man, where it says they're dead. And they're they're saying how long to Yahweh, man. So it's gonna only Yahweh knows when it's gonna be the final the final hurrah, huzzah for Esau, Edom, and these heathens, man. Habakkuk two and four. 
Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. So this is talking about Esau Edom, man. They're not Esau so-called white people. They're not they're not normal. They're not sane. They're wicked. They're evil, all right? Their whole thoughts when they go around is to rob, rape, and pillage. But now they already rob, rape, and pillage for hundreds of years, so they're living off what they rob, rape, and pillage, all right? So-called white people would not have Australia, New Zealand, Canada, America, Europe, Russia, Israel, etc., 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 without rob, rape, and pillaging and lying, all right? They got all their stuff through wickedness and military might. It wasn't righteous at all. The exact opposite, man. They use everything you can imagine that's pure evil to get where they're at, man. And this is all in the scriptures. Habakkuk 2 and 5. Ye, yeah, also, because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man. Yeah, Esau Edom is very proud, man. Make America great again. So-called white people are super proud. Neither keep it, keep it at home, who enlarges his desire as hell and as death. And cannot be satisfied, but gathering to him all nations and heaping to him all people. Who has gathered all the nations? What uh, quote-unquote race has gathered all nations? So-called white people, man. And this goes back to that play on the pale horse, all right? Here a little, there a little. You got to connect the scriptures. Uh, um, Habakkuk 2 and 5, right? What does it say? Who enlargeth his desire as hell and as death. So is this human has the power to, uh, quote unquote, make this, uh, magical, mysterious, mysterious place, uh, of fire and whatever, uh, make itself bigger on earth. Get, get out of here, man. That hell doctrine is played out. Is fake Christianity is failing. It wasn't set up to win. All right, this that's not the true gospel. What I'm preaching, what the elders and apostles of Great Millstone are preaching, is the true gospel. Um, Revelation six and eight. Let's reread it. And I behold, and I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name sat on him was death, and hell followed with him. The exact same thing as Habakkuk 2 and 5, all right? Who enlarges desire as hell and as death, all right? And you're supposed to connect scriptures. The Bible is a puzzle, man. It's a puzzle. You got to go to Habakkuk, the Revelations, and then Ezekiel, and then Isaiah, and then Genesis, man. You have to. That's how it's created. It's, it's created like that, man. Um, Isaiah 28 and 10. Isaiah 28 and 10. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. So you got to go to Isaiah and then jump back all the way to Jeremiah and then go to the end of the book of Revelations and then go to the beginning of the book of Genesis. That's how it is, man. It's not like a um chronological order, all right? It's not going to be the the answer for Genesis 25 and 25. It's not going to be Genesis 25 and 26, all right? I'm not saying 100%, but that's not how it is, man. You might have to jump to Romans to get the answer for Genesis 20, 25 and 25 or connect it together, all right? And get the whole picture because it's a puzzle piece, all right? Um, and only the elect of the nation of Israel can put the whole puzzle together, man. And let me hit Amos. And the Bible was written by Israelites for Israelites, all right? You other nations get condemned by this Bible. Esau, Edom, y'all should have just destroyed the Bible, man. They tried to run off with the Bible like it was theirs. Y'all should have just destroyed it. <laughs> but yeah, how about Shem Y'all Shah put that spirit of delusion on you, man, so he can get his word out. But ooh, Esau Edom seeing this now, man, they probably wishing they forefathers uh destroyed the Bible, man, because we we slicing them, smashing them, man. Through the spirit and power, yeah. How about Shem Y'all Shah, man? Amos 9 and 12. Though they dig into hell. Then shall my hand take them, though they climb up to heaven, then shall I bring them down. So they're digging, what, down. They're digging down. Because hell is, what, a low state, a low condition. And then they climb up to heaven, then shall I bring them down. Because heaven is, what, literally above us, all right? And it's heaven, like the kingdom of heaven is not this mystical, spiritual place, all right? 
the kingdom of heaven is going to be on earth. It's going to be made of earthly things like pearls and gold and mint, uh, those crystals and topaz and stuff, right? Those are earthly things. So the kingdom of heaven will be on earth. It even talks about in Isaiah, well, the nations are literally going to build the kingdom of heaven for the Israelites as slaves, all right? Only people that's going to be enjo enjoying themselves in the kingdom of heaven are the Israelites. Now, after the thousand, the ye thousand years, of the other 16 nations, all right, that are left, they're going to get their land, all right, and then they can live how they want to live, but they're going to still be under the Israelites' uh, authority. Esau, Edom, right, that's the only nation that's condemned for extermination, and they deserve extermination. <laughs> um, I'm going to hit one more, and I'm going to just, I'm going to go into reincarnation. Ezekiel 32 and 27, and they shall not lie with the mighty that are fallen of the uncircumcised, which are gone down to hell with their weapons of war. And they laid their swords under their heads, but their iniquity shall be upon their bones, though they were the terror of the mighty in the land of the living. Or, <clears throat> excuse me. So this is talking about, man, that the ones that died, when they died, they went down, all right? Not literally, like their their bodies were in the grave, all right? Death. But let me um let me get let me get into this reincarnation, man. Actually, I forgot. I'm gonna do Lazarus and the in the in the rich man. Then I'm gonna get into that reincarnation like i said before all right when you die your spirit goes up into heaven now the heaven that's above us i believe is biblically called the third heaven let me see if i can i can get that what what, what we see above us right that's the third heaven that's where yahweh is yahweh shah and elohim and the spirits that are uh, above us with them as well the elect, right? Abba Bivin. Let me see if I can get that. Second. All right, check this out. Second. Second Corinthians 12 and 2. And I knew a man uh, in a Mashiach above 14 years ago, whether in the body, I cannot tell whether out of the body. So did he go up in the flesh or did he go up in the spirits? He couldn't tell. Yeah, thy power knoweth such as one caught up to the third heaven. All right. Third heaven is just what people just just call heaven. Give me a second. All right, check this out. Genesis 1 and 20. And thy, thy power the Most High said, Let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that have life, and the fowl that may fly above the earth in the, in the open firmament of heaven. All right? 
because the sun, the moon, the stars, and where the birds fly in the sky, that's all in the firmament, all right? That's heaven above of, above us is heaven. But the kingdom of heaven, right? When Yahawashai comes back and establishes, he puts his foot on these these heathens and raises up the elect, and they have start building the kingdom of heaven. That's a actual physical kingdom, like how America and wherever else in the world right now, as of 2021, right? There's physical buildings and stuff. That's the kingdom of heaven. It's gonna be on earth, okay? But um, let me get into Lazarus. It, it top up this, get rid of this BS that you die and you just go to hell and you're there forever. Get out of here, man. When you die, you go to heaven. You there forever. Get out of here, man. Um, Luke 16. I'm going to scroll down. Luke 16 and 19. There was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day. So, living wealthy, healthy. Feel me? This represents Esau Edom because how they living? They got the most of the most right now. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus which was laid at his gate full of swords. This represents the Israel right now, man. The Israelites, Judah. Benjamin, Levi, Manasseh, Ephraim, Gad, Reuben, and so on and so forth. The 12 tribes, which consist of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And this is verse 21, Luke 16, 21. And desiring to be fed with the, the crumbs which fall from the rich man's table. All right, this represents Esau, Edom. I mean, Salakia. Well, I'm going to start with that. This represents Esau, Edom having their wealth. And Jake, right? This Jake is just another play on the Israelites, all right? Jake trying to make it in this world, right? Business. You you look at NFL players and NBA players, right? That's just doing stuff they like. All right, cool. They making 20, 30 million in your head, right? In your head, you like, man, 20, 30 million? Just give me a million dollars. I'll be straight for about 10 years, all right? You thinking that, which is true, but... To the to the 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 uh, the top elites of Esau Edom, right? Fifty million ain't nothing, man. They got trillions and billions of dollars, man. They can burn a billion dollars and be like, whatever, right? They can do that easily. These international bankers, nothing, man. Come on, um, and more. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores, and those dogs represents these other nations that come into what Jake's communities like Moab, right? Ishmael coming um into these communities and set up gas stations, Elam, um these Chinese food places feeding you cats and dogs and pigeons and rats and stuff, right? Getting wealthy off Babylon by serving Jake all this stuff to mess them up. Eating pork. Uh verse twenty two. And it came to pass that the beggar died, right? And was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. And the rich man also died and was buried. And in hell, he lift up his eyes. So he's in hell, right? This place where he's quote unquote burning, right? <laughs> Being in torment and seeing Abraham afar off. Wait, Abraham is in hell with him? What's going on? And Lazarus in his bosom? And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus. So wait, wait a minute. He He's in hell talking to Abraham who has to be in hell with him and telling him to send Lazarus. No, man, he's not in hell. He just went from that high position to a low position that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue for I am in torment in this flame, man. So Lazarus, Lazarus going through it. Salakia, uh, the rich man going through it. But Abraham said, son, remember, wait a minute. Abraham said, son, called him his son. Why did he call him his son? All right, Esau Edom. Remember that thou in thy lifetime receiveth good things. 
and likewise Lazarus, Lazarus evil things. But now he is comforted, and thou art torment. So the tables turned, all right? Uh, Lazarus living good. Now the rich man living bad. Same thing with Esau, Edom, and uh, the Israelites, man. The 12 tribes, starting with the elect. And beside all this, between us and you, there is a great gulf fixed, so that they which would pass from hence to you cannot, neither can they pass to us that will come from thence. So when one goes up, one got to go down, man. You can't, it's no equal playing field. And only nations that were uh, promised to rule over the whole earth is the nation of Israel and the, the nation of Edom. Then he said, I pray thee therefore, Father, that thou wouldest send him to my father's house. For I have five brethren that he may testify unto them, lest they all also come into this place of torment. So they having a whole conversation, man. Because Lazarus, Lazarus got the short end of the stick, man. And he's trying to get out of it. But um, that's it on that hell doctrine, man. Sliced and diced that with the scriptures, man. No such thing as uh, hell. All right. As in the, a physical place like welcome to hell. Go go take aisle four of the burning lava pit. Like, nah, man. That's, <laughs> get out of here, man. Um, Now let me get into reincarnation, man. Reincarnation is biblical. It's called regeneration. John 9, all right? <clears throat> this is about um Yahweh Shai healing this blind man. Let me see if I can, I can find it. John John 9 in from the top. And as Yahweh Shai passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. So he was born blind. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin? This man? Wait a minute. He was born from birth. How could he sin? Reincarnation, buddy. Or his parents that he was born blind. You see what I'm saying? So they knew reincarnation was real. Why else would they say, did he sin if he was born blind? All right? Yahweh answered, neither had this man sinned? So Yahweh Shai said he didn't sin. Why did Yahweh Shai answer that question? Because Yahweh Shai knows reincarnation is real. Reincarnation is biblical. Nor his parents, but that the works of thy power should be made manifest in him. So Yahweh Shai, I mean Yahweh Salaki, Yahweh made sure he was born blind. So Yahweh Shai can flex them spiritual powers and heal him, man. Um, let me get some more. Go to Ecclesiastes. <coughs> Ecclesiastes 3. Ecclesiastes 3. And 16. Check this out. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment. That wickedness was there in the place of righteousness, that iniquity, iniquity was there. I said in mine heart, thy power shall judge the righteous and the wicked. For there is a time that there is a, in there, for there is a time that, for there is a time there for every purpose and for every work. So lock it for that. Um, so judgment is under the sun. That's where judgment takes place, right under the sun, uh, under the sun, right? Check this out. Ecclesiastes 12 and 7. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return to the Most High who gave it. So when you die, you go back to the Most High, Yahweh. You go straight back. And judgment, right? Remember, judgment is under the sun, right? Right here on earth. Hebrews 9 and 27. Hebrews 9 and 27. And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. Right? Well, all right. Judgment's under the sun, right? So a Mashiach was once offered to bear the sins of many, 
and the two of them that looked for him shall he appear in the second time without sin unto salvation. Right? That's when it, our shot comes back. Get the elect. Right? But all all of Israel will be saved. Ultimately, there'll be uh, children in the kingdom of heaven. The children of the elect and the women. Right? Which are also part of the elect. One third. So it says right here, Hebrews 9 and 27, as it is appointed in two men once to die, but after this, the judgment, right? When you die, you go up to Yahweh, right? You get judged, and then you play out that judgment on earth, man. So if you, if say like you, you um robbed 30 banks, right? You robbed 30 banks in 1930. You died, you came back in 2001, and then you get 30 years for robbing one bank, man. That's judgment, man. Um, Let me keep hitting on this, man. Remember, what what that say? Judgment is under the sun. Second Corinthians 5 and... 10, 2 Corinthians 5 and 10. For we must all be appear before the judgment seat of Amashiach, that every everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. So everything that you've done, you will get a payback, a, recomp a recompense, man. You're not escaping anything you do. And the main people that try to escape what they did is Esau Edom, man. They don't they think they're not gonna pay for all that evil and wickedness they've done, man. Because they know uh what did Cain say? Cain said, My punishment is too much for me to uh for me to bear. That's why Esau Edom denies that they're gonna um not receive a recompense, man. Cause they know what they did is gonna be very overwhelming. They're not gonna be able to take it. And that's exactly how it's set up. It's set up for them not to be able to take him, man. It's set up for them to get a foot up their ass and to get exterminated. Matthew 19 and 28. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, For verily I say unto you that ye, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration. All right, this is reincarnation. When the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon the twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Boom, baby, reincarnation. Let's see what that word regeneration means right here in the strong. Palingani. Palingaisia. Let's see. Strong's G, 3824. Palingaisia. 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 Polygenesia. Let's see what it was going into. New birth. New birth. You see that? New birth. Reproduction, renewal, recreation. Come on, man. I'm going to get one more. I'm going to exit out of here. Check this out. This is this is like the cherry on top, baby. This finna be the cherry on top. Revelations 1 and 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds. It's talking about Yahweh Shai coming on them so-called UFOs, the chariots of the Most High. And every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. And all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, Amon, right? And they also which pierced him, all right? So them soldiers that pierced Yahweh Shai just over 2,000 years ago is going to see him when he comes back and what? Whenever he comes back, all right? How they going to see him? Reincarnation, baby. Call Halayim La Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem or Kakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who rule well and have the 100% truth, peace, and blessing to the elect. Shalom.